did you hear that? Hello and welcome back to that vlog. That vlog. The vlog. That David. That agency co. The vlog. Welcome back. As you'll see, I'm sat at Rob's desk today. Why, you might ask? Well, because it don't get used that much, so I want to just try and use it. Yes, this is a little dig at Rob. Now I'm only kidding, so Rob's not well. I, th I think he's gonna be all right, so he's not here. So you've got me again, so it's another in the office with David. So I've got absolutely loads to do on my to-do list today, so actually Rob not being here, telling me his stories that go on for three hours at a time, might actually help. <laughs> Seriously, Rob's fine. He's just feeling a little bit under the weather today, so he's not coming into the office. But he'll probably be back tomorrow or later on in the week. Who knows? But I have got loads to get on with today, so best get on, haven't we? The weather's so foggy today, we can't even see Cusswa Fall. You'll have seen us loads of times talk about how we can see Cusswa Fall in the distance. Can't even see it. I'm not even sure where it is. Where is it? I think it's... Like, around here somewhere. I'm just waiting for a video to export, so my laptop's pretty much kaput for the next, like, six minutes or so. So I thought I'd come for a look out the window and give myself, give my eyes a break. And look what I've spotted. Can you see those little silver and black things on the top of the chimney? Don't you think they look like our Rode microphones? Listen, I've got a to-do list as long as my arm. Rob's not here. I'm in the office on my own. This is the type of content we're left with. I was going to show you behind the scenes of a little mini photo shoot we're doing for some products in here. But I don't even know if I'm allowed to show you that. Did you hear that? I put the bottle right next to you and I thought, will I be able to hit it? Bang! Smashed it. It's all the way over there, look. This is the longest six minutes of my life. Look at that face. Anyway, danetta has got a new venture. She's been talking on her channel about a new business that she's going to be setting up in 2022. She's now right on the cusp of launching. If you want to know more about what it's about, go over and look at her channel. It's this one here. But my job today is, I've got cameras, I've got studio lighting, Therefore, I'm now her photographer. Hang on a minute, she's a client that don't pay. Anyway, I'm getting an exclusive peek of some of her products. I'm gonna be taking some photos of them today. I'll show you. First off, I need another camera. Shall we use Rob's camera or the M50? I mean, this one is bigger, but is this one better? I don't actually know. I know someone that will. So Rob, I know that you'll have your poorly voice on, but I'm taking some photos for Donetta's products. Is your camera better at photography than the M50? Yes or no? Right, while we wait for him, we should clear this space so that we've got some sort of blank canvas to work from. Oh man, that looks weird. Actually thinking about it, it's all gonna have to go and I'm gonna have to raise the table because I'm thinking I put it up against the wall, but it's got to go over that. So then I've got a full white backdrop, full white floor bit, bottom bit. And we'll be able to do more with that. We are going to shoot more of these photos tomorrow because we've got a few ideas on things that we can bring in from home to be able to add to the aesthetics of the photos. So if you see what I mean, this table has got to go above that white bit. Otherwise, that's going to look a bit manky in the background. So table lift. That's as high as it goes. But... It'll do. Oh, also, we've got a reply from Rob. Depends what you're taking pictures of, um, because there should be a 50 mil lens attached to it, and that'll that'll outperform the M50 quite drastically. Um, but it depends what you're taking pictures of as to uh, how much like wideness you need on a lens. If that makes any sense. Well, let's all be honest. He doesn't sound poorly, does he? So these legs are usually on 50, which is like the height and stuff. They're now up to the maximum, which is 90. I wonder if I could work like this. I bet this camera's never filmed in auto before. It's about to. I realize I might be a little bit blown out as well. We've got the light, so look, here's the setup. We've got the lighting, we've got the table, we've got the camera, 
and we've got the products. Now, time to make some cool photos. I'm gonna party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know. Okay, so I've took a load of photos. Some of them have actually come out really, really well, but I definitely just want more prop. So that as you can see, the products have got loads of color, popping color here. So there's a little box and there's a big box. And basically the idea is this is all nut-free stuff. So for those of you that don't know, me and Danetta, our little boy has got a nut allergy. So we're forever trying to battle with what he can eat, what he can't eat. Does it contain nuts, may it contain nuts and all the rest of it. Danetta's first subscription box that's going to launch very soon is going to be a nut-free treat box. So if you've got somebody in your family that likes treats, everyone, but they also have a nut allergy, you can order knowing that this is safe, safe enough that we give it to our kid. Peanut-free wow butter. Now, we have this and it genuinely tastes like peanut butter. It's nice. There's also some chocolate spread as well as loads of other little snacks. So it's an absolutely top drawer idea. And the little box will be designed to be able to fit through your letterbox so you can order that. You don't even have to be into tech delivery. Then there's a bigger box that'll have more stuff in it. So keep following Donetta for all the details. We'll pick this back up again tomorrow. But I actually need to put my desk back and stuff now, so. There we go. All back to normal, looking fresh. By the way, did we show you that? We've got an updated one. Sorry, Jordan. I've just got a couple of more admin type things to do on the computer before I leave for today. Will Rob be back tomorrow? I don't know. Whether he's back or not, we will plan something interesting for the vlog tomorrow. But listen, we've committed, haven't we? We're doing a vlog every single day. Some days things get thrown up on your last minute. Some days someone's going to be a bit poorly. Other days things aren't going to go to plan. But we keep putting one foot in front of the other. And I hope that's what you've got from today's vlog is the fact that the show goes on always we really appreciate everybody that's joining us on this journey please subscribe please share these videos with your friends and stuff share them in your whatsapp group share them to your facebook timeline wherever it is that you operate online and remember if you're a business and you want a video social media content a promo video or you're trying to build your personal brand and you want to do some videos for yourself check out mine and rob's linkedin profile pictures in the circle go and tap them on linkedin if you're on there we can come and create them for you as well video business cards and all sorts trying to make some money here so thanks for keeping me company today not that you've been here in real life end of vlog